What's up Virgo? This is going to be your love check-in for the first half of October. This is for my Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment, share. It does help out my channel. If you are new here, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I do offer personal readings. All the info for that's in the description box of the video. There is a long wait for a reading with me at the moment. So if you want to explore your options, I've put links to my affiliates, Mystic Sense and Spiritual Blossom in the description box as well. Mystic Sense will give you um, your first five minute reading free. Spiritual Blossom will give you a bonus $10 when you deposit 20. Check them out if you feel called to do so. And otherwise, if you want to follow me on TikTok or Instagram, I put the links to those in the description box as well. Now Virgo, let's do my usual, the person on your mind, how are they feeling about you? Then how are you feeling about them? Projected potential outcome for the first half of October. To anyone that's new, why do I say potential? Because on this channel, I infuse the law of assumption into the channel, into my readings. My readings are check-ins into the current version of Virgo, the version of the specific person and the connection that you Virgo have selected out of the infinite that are available right now. Law of assumption, creation is finished. All things exist all at once. Your desires are meant for you. You can manifest this however you want. And in order, everything on the outside is a reflection of your current state of consciousness, the version of Virgo that you're being and what is being then reflected back to you. Therefore, if you would like to manifest this differently, it requires a shift in your state and the version of the, the situation and the, the person that you're selecting. Please go and look at to, into what I've posted. Um, I like to teach as I go. There's also amazing coaches online. Um, on, on YouTube and look into Neville Goddard, Joseph Murphy and do some of your own research. Okay, Virgo, let's have a look. The person on Virgo's mind, how do they feel about Virgo? Confused or maybe fantasizing about you, Virgo, with that seven of cups, the wheel of fortune. They feel like your destiny, seven of swords. They're not fully trusting it. Seven of swords, seven of cups can be also fears like about options, knight of wands, lots of passion though. You might be getting a message of passion that's a sweeping in. And it's also like the full card I saw, like, should we take a leap of faith? Should we do this? Some of you are dealing with a person that's at a distance um, or, you know, it would require travel or others. It's like Knight of Wands, a lot of passion, a lot of desire, um, mixed feelings about really going for it, like the next phase, the next step, maybe some confusion about that, maybe trust issues um, or Seven of Cups. Things aren't clear, so there's been an avoidance of like, let's discuss this, like where is this going or something like that. Well, three of cups in the reverse. How do they feel about you, Virgo? Things don't feel clear. High Priestess card. Um, the three of cups in reverse. So it could be a feeling that other energies are impacting on this situation. Doesn't have to be third parties. It could be family um, or it could be friends. For some of you, there's questions around like other other energies. I mean, if you're just dating a person as well, guys, I mean, three of cups in reverse can be that this hasn't reached the next phase. That's not fated or, you know, set in stone either. But there's a sense of the unknown. I mean, they could feel that way about you, Virgo. So we're going to get your side of the street. More importantly, my regulars will know why I'm saying this. But in the end, circumstances don't matter. And it's just a check in for right now. Yeah, Queen of Cups is in the reverse, Knight of Swords is in the reverse, Three of Swords is in the reverse, there's that full card. Are we going to leap onto this? Now there could have been some kind of a reaction to one another that caused a disconnect maybe around um, a feeling that things are not clear or are there other energies around. The Queen of Cups is in the reverse here, so like this could feel a bit like has the love been withdrawn? Um, Let's look at High Priestess. Yet yeah, there's a sense of the unknown when it comes to like commitment, loyalty, stability. Let me look at this Three of Cups. I mean, three cards. For some of you, it's also, like I said, there could have been harshness or erratic energy. Um, in You know, because King of Pentacles is in the upright. This is a loyal, stable king. But there's questions around loyalty maybe. And it could be because other energies have interfered in some sort of a way. And the oracles will tell us more. There's burdens here. Um, look, for some of you, there are burdens, like maybe because there's children or there's other energies in the mix that way or family. Um, but there seems to be this intuitive bond 
They want to talk to you, eight, eight of wands. They want to move things along. Why has there been Knight of Swords? Five of Cups. Some spilt cups between the two of you or regrets around things that have been said. So I think there's been an argument or a row um, and maybe negative assumptions that other people have interfered in some kind of a way or maybe they have. But let's look at this three of cups in the reverse. The seven of cups, but in the reverse. Okay, trust issues, questions. Are, are, there, are there other energies? I'm confused or you're sending me mixed signals. Um, is it really founded or is it just like there could be outside responsibility and tensions around that and then negative assumptions? So you could have selected a version of a person, Virgo, that like maybe is very burdened, weighed down. Um, you could be the same. And then there could be like trust issues between the two of you. And then there also then could have been manifest like family drama or people in the mix interfering in some kind of a way. Yeah, Ace of Swords. They want to come out of Seven of Cups, confusion. They want to have an honest conversation, um, get very clear on things. Now, there could have been lack of clarity on the direction, like I said. Um, you know, Three of Cups in reverse can be like indulgence and partying. So maybe this is like a feeling like you're not prioritizing one another. It feels like they're hanging in there. You know, they're still stuck on you. Even if there's been some kind of a harshness and hurt feelings, they want to come out of that Knight of Cups. Apologies, potentially, romance. Things just don't feel very clear. It could be fears that are being triggered here between the two of you where things don't feel very clear. Maybe it's about communication issues, like not really being open with one another. Queen of Cups in the reverse came out. Why is that? Yeah, Four of Swords, Five of Wands. Tension, conflict. It's like it's, it's been difficult for the heart to be open because there's a feeling of tension and outside energies and competing interests. Nine of Cups, for some of you, that is like outside interests being friends, drinking, maybe, or other responsibilities that are just like not, you know, so not prioritizing the connection or family, etc. So this is also about wish fulfillment, Virgo. So they are manifesting you. You are the king or queen manifester in every reality, Virgo. So if you want to tweak this and, and fix it, it doesn't matter what was said or done or the heartache. Even on this timeline, they're like, okay, let's have an honest conversation. Are we going to take a leap? Can we get past this tension? Can we get clear on the direction? You're my wish fulfillment. I want to manifest you. If you hold on to resentments and things, well, even what they come in with, they could morph back into whatever you're assuming about them. Um, and I'm going to do your side of the street on what you want and what you desire. Any circumstances, even if there are choices or options or third parties or family or burdens or anything doesn't really matter, guys. But they feel like there's been lack of clarity and it's led to um, tension and they've been processing a tension between the two of you. And there's also loss for some of you if there's if there's drama between the two of you coming down to either not being very open and not communicating well, that could be something because the moon is how we've been nurtured and the five of cups is losses in our past. So there could be like wounds from old relationships that started in childhood, if I'm gonna really give you guys the whole spiel, but I say it in all my reads, sorry to my regulars, but my newbies, doesn't matter if you selected a person that like the moon, like they have fears in opening up, that causes drama and erratic communication or they distract themselves they, they find it hard to like you know be emotional like be avoidant or something Virgo and then that triggers you well there's a version of them that's going to be more open and more loving and giving and there's no confusion you know there's no secrecy or mixed signals um, because there's a version of you that feels very secure and confident and knows for sure that this person they're all about you la la they must show up and confirm what you assume about them, what you assume about yourself. Anyway, they have some shadow stuff from their past. They feel like you're a wish fulfillment. They are manifesting you even on this timeline. There's a Knight of Cups. They want to come in with a gesture. They have real feelings, even though the Queen of Cups is in the reverse. They might feel like you seem shut off. That also triggers them. They get confused. Just playing devil's advocate, but doesn't really matter, guys. You don't have to, nothing's wrong. You haven't done anything wrong. Things shift in a moment when you shift, okay? 
Aquarius energy, Pisces energy, double Pisces with the hangman, Virgo, Gemini, magician card. Um, actually, lots of Pisces with the moon as well, also potentially Cancer. All right, guys, well, let's just look at you. I was just talking about wounds and there is wounding here, but they want to have a, a second chance. They want a revival on this timeline. Come back around, okay? All right, so Virgo, we should look at you and see what's going on here. I mean, this person could have fears when it comes to family in the long term and fulfillment. Maybe they ha have trouble like really believing in the happily ever after because there is some stuff like seven of cups is illusions and fears as well something within your interaction could trigger them losses from them and i'm not blaming you though losses from their past and older wound they could shut off they could have fear like maybe they had a breakdown in the family or something like that do you know what i mean um so there's a dynamic here is what i'm picking up let's have a look at you scorpio energy with the judgment card ten of wands you both have like burdens, there's something weighing on this connection, or you both have a lot of burdens outside of the connection. And then that causes negative assumptions and suspicion. And you look, the sun, you feel like they make you happy and there's a wound, but you want to get past the wound. So that was the nine of wands in the reverse. They're hoping also to get past the wound, Virgo. So that's what you manifest everything, guys, in this version. Truth. Okay, your thoughts create your reality. Your thoughts are connected to the version of you that you're being. Your unconscious, um, your subconscious is running 95%. It's responsible for making your reality, manifesting your reality. And your beliefs are part of your identity. You're driving your thoughts, etc. Have a look at what I've posted before. You want to get past some stress. Okay, five of swords. How do you feel about them, Virgo? Seven of swords. There's a bit of standoffishness, but you also maybe want to persist. What's that that jump? Temperance card. You're losing your patience somehow. Something triggers you and you lose your patience with the temperance card or you lose your cool or you feel like they might act erratically, lose their patience. That's the shadow of the Knight of Swords. Okay, Nine of Pentacles, the Tower. Okay, Four of Wands. Hmm. Okay. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, the Hangman in the reverse, you both have Seven of Cups in the reverse. You might feel like what this person offers you is small emotionally and that might trigger you. So you might question them, Seven of Cups again, confusion, questions. Um, they also have the confusion, you both have it, the Seven of Cups in the reverse, so it's about wanting to come out of confusion. If they're questioning if you have other options, for those of you, that that's your story and you are about them, this could be a mutual fear thing that may not even really be founded. I'll get some oracles on it. And guys, you can manage, if there are, don't focus on it. Virgo that wants it you can manifest away any third parties. Even on this timeline, this person wants to, they're manifesting you, you're a wish fulfillment. We have the nine of cups. Unfortunately, the 10 is in the reverse and there hasn't maybe been proper like clarification around the future vision and you do make them happy. There's potential here to flip anything guys it doesn't matter what a person said or done but they from the nine to the ten i think this is coming down to some fear and it's coming down also to the dynamic between the two of you and potentially family responsibility the impact of family or the past guys so select a new version and fuck it all away but the ace of pentacles in the reverse somehow you feel like either this can't lead to commitment or this person's not stable or they're not offering you something stable you could be focusing on feeling good about yourself, self-sufficient. For some of you, maybe you feel the burdens is about career, nine of pentacles. What is this tower? You want to come unstuck. They've got the hanged man. They're hanging in there. They might feel like you have one foot in, one foot out, and that might also be confusing them. And then you're mutually confused. Let's look at the tower. Yeah, king of pentacles and the eight of wands. Eight of wands. King of Pentacles. So there's a tower here. You might feel like single or commit. Or are we really doing this? Because questions around stability, questions around commitment. That might be also around resources. Like, is this person ready? Because four of wands is about house and home and stability. So the confusion, it might not be coming even down to like, are you playing around? Even though there might be friends in the mix or people like that are impacting or talking or outside burdens, this might be like, are you stable? That could be the question. I mean, King of Pentacles is also earth sign energy. It could be you 
really feeling like you want someone that's got their shit together. I mean, Tower, Eight of Wands. There's like, what, what's not working must go. You might have had a clash with this person. You still want to talk to them. And it's like, persist or, or walk away. You want to come unstuck and get clear on it. So there's a conversation brewing, Ace of Swords. Now this can go either way, Virgo. You actually can have anything you want. You can walk away from this reading today and be like, no, they're stable, they're loyal, they're committed. We have no problems. We have the best communication. They're ready to go for it. We're getting married. Whatever it is you want, Virgo, it doesn't matter. I'm not telling you what you want, but there is opportunity here and there is a comeback round on this timeline. Um, and you can go into an even more preferable timeline. So examine what the issue is here on your end and, and just affirm for it. Project new thoughts about them and make an assumption that you're the version that has exactly what you want, okay? There's defensiveness here. And if you have any assumptions, this person is not really valuing me, not really choosing me, not really committed, nip it in the bud and fucking assume differently. Of course, why wouldn't they? You feel like this person not really making an effort. Eight of Pentacles. You're also not sure if they're worth the effort. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Maybe this person like, you know, there's been between the two of you, you have friends or you, you go out and there's a wound here about not really being the priority or something like that. Or not being very, you know, you seem to be looking for something stable. And maybe this person's cut, you're confused. You're like, mm, I don't know. Maybe they're having issues with their finances or career. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. All right, let's have a look at you, Virgo, or at them. What are their intentions now? Ah, oh, okay. Avoiding conversation, still upset. There was a painful conversation or a row between the two of you, twin flames. Okay, compliment, but also opposites. You also could have differences between the two of you and you trigger one another. That not today, boundaries and hurt has come out again. The runner, fear of intimacy. I told you that about the moon and the five of cups. So this person seems emotionally shut off. It might trigger you and then your behavior, not, not giving you shit, then triggers them, blah, blah, blah. Intensity, but then love. Okay, love, passion as well. Okay, Cupid's arrow, have faith, love is coming. You both have arrows, so there's communication. So focus dominantly on the assumption that this person loves you, they're not avoidant, they're so open. They will. The mirror will absolutely mirror back your assumption, totally. Now you both have the Nine of Cups, self-indulgence. You might assume this person's self-indulgent because you're interpreting their behavior as like, oh, they don't care. And why are they not prioritizing? Why are they not valuing me? Flip the script and it will change. This is only the current energy. Healing heart, that's that three of swords. So there's been hurt feelings between the two of you. This also says healing heartbreak. Okay, there's old heartbreak. That's them being projected, connected to family, family wounding moon card then solidified in relationships and projected into your situation but we don't need them to heal we don't need like will the avoidant ever change or will they heal the part of you that knows this person loves you and there's a version where you don't have this drama and you're not triggered exists work on your story no one to change but self virgo and your assumption about them that's it we've got camera learn from the past perception making memories they want to make new memories with you and the dragonfly, things coming to light to heal, change. They've had some kind of a breakthrough. They know that things need to change. They know that maybe they have a pattern. They may want to talk to you about that Virgo. Again, whatever, keep it in, in the story or don't. Even if that is what they talk to you about, even if they say I'm working through things, don't then hold on to assumption. It's going to take them a really long time to change and focus outside on a person and that version of them. You can have the most ideal version. They'll change very, very quickly. Um, so what else do we need to know? What are they coming in with? Yeah, sick and tired of cycles. And this is frustrate. It's like frustration, sick and tired. Lots of desire. Okay, pleasure, desire. And then there's this avoidance that has caused chaos, crumbling. It's triggered you as well, Virgo, with the tower card, no communication. So you go through periods of silence, no communication, 
There's the avoidance issues, maybe it's runner chaser, whatever label you want to give it, not so relevant guys. It is on this timeline in the experience, but it's really not, okay? Soul contract, soulmates, partnership, spiritual union. So even on this timeline, conversation, love, passion, wanting to heal, wanting to change, um, maybe wanting to work through the avoidance issues, definitely desiring you. At this check-in, if you're half-half and you're feeling like, well, they're avoiding the conversation, they actually do want to reach out. So the part of you, you're also manifesting conversation, communication. If you are, and then you're going in and out, oh, they're avoiding and they're not, why haven't they reached out? You know, wherever your focus is, is what your reality is going to be, but you can shift realities really quickly. It's whatever state you're in. Okay, go and look into it a little bit more um, and focus on what you desire here, okay? And you will get more and more of that. Eight of wands, eight of wands. There is movement anyway. There's going to be communication. The quality of that is going to be up to you. All right, Virgo, I hope that that resonated for you. Um, and if so, you can give me a like and a comment, please. And I will check in with you guys in two weeks time. Lots of love.